What is going on everybody? Teddy Baldessar here, and in this video we're going to continue part two of a fun series that we're doing on the channel, Watches of US Presidents. So what we do with these lists is I look at one specific watch from each individual mentioned in the video, and then on top of that I want to keep it to the 20th and 21st century to really kind of look at wrist watches more than pocket watches. But if you guys have not seen the first part of this series, I will link to it in the description down below, but watch it after you watch this one. So guys, let's jump into the video. All right, so first up we have the watch from President Harry Truman. Truman became the 33rd president of the United States following the death of FDR in 1945. When looking at presidents that were the most active wearers of watches, Truman has to be in the conversation. However, the one watch from his collection that I really want to take a look at is his Universal Geneve Tri-Compacts. I wanted to pick this watch for two reasons. One, I think Universal Geneve made some of the coolest looking vintage chronographs of all time, and for its connection to a day in history that helped bring some peace and end to the deadliest war the world had ever seen, World War II. The watch is a supposed reference 1251 and was made of 18 karat gold. The significance of the watch is hinted by the engraving on the case back, which reads, Worn at Postdam, July 1945 by Harry Truman. Like the case back indicates, the watch was worn at the Postdam conference that took place from July 17th to August 2nd, 1945, where the victorious Allied leaders Harry Truman, Winston Churchill, and Joseph Stalin met to decide the future of Germany and post-war Europe. The conference ended with the Postdam Agreement and the Postdam Declaration, all of which this watch had a front row ticket to. Next we have President Lyndon B. Johnson. LBJ was sworn into office in 1963, what made him the 36th President of the United States and took place the same day of the tragic assassination of JFK while LBJ was aboard the Air Force One. Similar to Truman, LBJ was a lover of watches, but there is one watch that has become synonymous with the Oval Office, his Rolex Day Date in yellow gold. The Rolex Day Date was first brought into the market in 1956 and did relatively well in the sales department. However, what made the watch skyrocket in popularity was when LBJ became the first president to own one. He wore his yellow gold Day Date so frequently that the bracelet that he wore it on is now commonly called the President Bracelet, and now a gold day date is now frequently called a Rolex President. Following the watch's new connection to the Oval Office, in 1966, Rolex advertised the watch heavily with this in mind. The watch at the time was selling for $1,000, and when adjusting for inflation in 2018, it comes out to just under $8,000. But when it comes to LBJ's watch, its price tag should simply read, Priceless. In my previous video of President's watches, I thought it was incredibly cool how George W. Bush wore a Timex watch while in office. And in this video, we have a president that is going to be joining him in that Timex club, Bill Clinton. Clinton became the 42nd president of the United States when elected in 1993 and served a second term following. Bill was known for wearing one of the most recognized and beloved watches from Timex, Timex Iron Man. Timex created this watch in partnership with help of officials from the Iron Man Triathlon and released the watch line in 1986. Clinton apparently owned several models. The one most notable was his blue and black Ironman triathlon that he wore to his 1993 inaugural ball. And despite being a fun watch, the press did not have many kind words of the timepiece. As an example, Gene Weingarten of the Washington Post described Clinton's timepiece as a plastic digital watch, thick as a brick, handsome as a hernia. However, despite the hate, I applaud him for wearing a modest timepiece despite being one of the most powerful individuals on the planet, and I definitely commend him for it. Next up, we have President Barack Obama. So Obama was elected in 2008, would be elected for a second term in 2012, and has worn many watches. And to be honest, I'm not a fan of many of the watches and really his taste for watches. However, my favorite piece he has been seen wearing after leaving the Oval Office. The watch, a Rolex Cellini. The Rolex Cellini owes its roots back to the Rolex Prince when it was created in 1928, which sold well until production halted a few decades later. However, in the last 15 years, Rolex announced the Rolex Cellini Prince, and most recently, a whole new lineup of Cellini watches watches, one of which bears the wrist of Obama. His specific Cellini is a reference 50509 in white gold with a 39 millimeter case. The watch retails for $15,200, features a caliber 3132, and a beautiful white dial. I believe the Cellini is arguably probably the most overlooked Rolex watch right there with the Milgauss, but there is a certain element of understated class that exudes from the piece that I find really intriguing. So Obama, well done. And finally, we have the current president of the United States, President Donald Trump. 
Trump is the 45th president of the United States where he is serving his first term following his unlikely win according to the pre-election polls back in 2016. So I've mentioned President Trump in a video about world leaders and their watches. So definitely check out that video if you've not done so yet. I will link to it down below. However, I want to look at another watch from his collection here today. So the watch has never been seen uh, worn by President Trump. However, it has been seen on the wrist of another US president, Ronald Reagan. The watch was Reagan's Calibri, which was donated to a Famous Faces auction, which was done to raise money for charity. The watch went up for auction at the event in 1999, the highest bidder, Donald Trump. And like I mentioned, there are no reported pictures of Trump wearing the watch. That said, it is really cool to see how the one watch has a connection to not only one president, but two presidents of the United States. And the last thing that's probably noteworthy about this is the watch itself was purchased for $7,000. We know this because it was a public auction. And if you're looking for a watch that's owned by a US president, I don't think that price tag is too bad at all. So guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this series, be sure to give this video a like down below, subscribe, hit the bell icon, that all really supports the channel. Also leave comments about other video topics in this type of area that you want me to do. I really enjoy doing these because it combines kind of history with uh, watches, two of my favorite things. So please love to hear comments about things of that nature uh, down below for future videos. And also be sure to be following me on Instagram. We're gonna be announcing the next watch giveaway um, watch very soon. Um, and to see the updates in terms of when we're gonna announce the winners, follow me on Instagram so you can see that. Also fill out the form down below. If you fill it out in prior months, you're all good to go. And then finally, go check out our Patreon. If you wanna support this new generation of watch lovers that we're trying to foster up on this channel, any help there would be greatly appreciated. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Be well, and I will see you all very soon.